हेलो एवरीवन आई एम बालाजी राव वेलकम टू बी आर मैथ्स क्लास वी आर इन एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ डेरिवेटिव चैप्टर इन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 6.5 मैक्सिमम मिनिमा कांसेप्ट प्रॉब्लम्स वी आर डूइंग टिल नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड थ्री प्रॉब्लम्स इन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 6.5 दिस इज फोर्थ प्रॉब्लम इन एक्सरसाइज नंबर 6.5 यू ऑब्जर्व दिस क्वेश्चन प्रूव दैट द फॉलोइंग फंक्शंस do not have maxima or minima the following function do not have maxima or minima see when we say the function is not having maximum value minimum value for example you take a graph like this something graph is like this suppose this is the graph this is the function y equal to f of x what is the maximum value of this see this line is going further up 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 right so we cannot say what is the maximum value of this and you observe this one it is going down so we cannot say in this case what is the maximum value what is the minimum value suppose the graph is like this suppose the graph is like this in this case what we say the function attains minimum value at this point we will get the minimum value what is the maximum value it is going up up we cannot say what is the maximum value of this function i hope you are understanding suppose there is a graph something graph like this this is the graph this is like this graph is like this can we say anything about this in this case also we say that the function is not having maximum value minimum value like that we'll say okay so here you know that in this exercise to check uh, to find maximum values minimum values where the function is maximum where the function is minimum we use two tests one is first derivative test another one is second derivative test here also uh, we'll use uh, actually uh, procedure is as usual either what we follow the procedure for first derivative test what we follow the procedure for second derivative test we'll try to follow the steps let's see can we move forward and we can identify where it is maximum where it is minimum okay now come to the solution of first bit you see what is this first bit they given f of x equal to e power x we need to prove that this function is not having maximum value minimum value okay so first take given function f of x f of x equal to e power x okay i'll calculate f dash of x okay calculate f dash of x derivative of e power x is what in differentiation any easiest formula is there means that is this only derivative of e power x is e power x right derivative of e power x is e power x now Uh, we will try to find x values for that x values f dash of x equal to zero. We are trying to find critical points actually. In first derivative test, we completed three problems now. By this time, you got an idea what is happening actually, right? If f dash of x equal to zero, e power x equal to zero, e power x equal to zero, we need to find x values which satisfying this equation. what are the x values which satisfies this equation you tell uh, identify some real x values e power 0 i'll write what is e power 0 value e power 0 value is 0 no e power 0 value is 1 now you tell for what value of x e power x will become 0 yes you tell what value of x we need to write think minus 1 no uh, never it is not possible we cannot find any x value we cannot find any x value such that e power x equal to 0 you cannot find so what i'll write no real x no real x such that no real x such that e power x equal to 0 actually what we do while doing the uh, while doing first derivative test or second derivative test suppose the graph is like this suppose the graph is like this at this point function attains maximum value na if we draw the tangent at this point this tangent is parallel to x axis if the tangent is parallel to x axis slope of tangent is zero that means f dash of x equal to zero i am trying to find the critical points if critical point is there definitely there is just maximum value or minimum value in this there is no critical point there is no real x such that f dash of x is zero so there is no real x so what we say uh, we say that uh, no critical points no critical point means what we say therefore f of x does not have maxima 
and minima values. Okay, uh, you know here uh, this is the procedure, right? If we find any x values such that f dash of x equal to 0, further we will use first derivative test or second derivative test to do this problem. But there is no real x such that f dash of x equal to 0. That means no critical point. So in that case, we say that f of x does not have maximum minimum values. See, this is e power x. Now, you know the graph of e power x. See, the graph of e power x. If you see the graph of e power x, the graph of e power x looks like this. This is graph of e power x. You can see uh, as this side, this is going like this. We cannot say what is its uh, minimum value and it is going like this. We cannot say what is its maximum value. That's why we say that this function is neither maximum nor this function does not have maximum value as well as minimum value. I hope you got it, right? Now, we'll move to the second bit. You see, what is the second bit? G of x equal to log x, okay? We need to prove that this function is not having maximum value, minimum value. Okay, right. So, uh, first thing I will calculate g dash of x. Okay, calculate g dash of x. What is derivative of log x? We know that derivative of log x is 1 by x. Okay, now if g dash of x equal to 0, if g dash of x equal to 0, that means 1 by x, g dash of x is what? 1 by x equal to 0. Now, find the x values. For those x values, g dash of x is 0 find the x values for that x values g dash of x is 0 1 by 0 no 1 by 0 is not 0 what 1 by 1 crore or 1 by 1 by 10 no it can be understood easily that 1 by x value it will never be 0 right so what we write therefore no real x therefore there is no real x such that there is no real x such that 1 by x equal to 0. Okay, so what it tells? This tells that this function is not having any critical point. Therefore, g of x, g of x does not have any maxima or minima values. I hope you are understanding right now you see this uh, third bit uh, this third bit this is the polynomial function they given here okay we will do this third bit we need to prove that this function does not have maxima minima okay so what I'll do, I'll calculate, uh, I'll take h of x first, okay, h of x is what, uh, x cube plus x square plus x plus 1. We need to prove that this function does not have maximum minimum values. So what I'll do, I'll calculate h dash of x, derivative of h of x. Derivative of x cube is what, it is 3x square, derivative of x square is what, 2x plus derivative of x is 1 plus derivative of 1 is 0. Right, I got like this h dash of x. I need to find the x values for those x values. This h dash of x is 0. So, just we are trying to find critical values. That's it. If h dash of x equal to 0, that means 3x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Uh, yes, find the real x values which satisfies this condition. Yes, any chance is there? Think it. What I do, I do one thing, I will calculate b square minus 4ac, then I will come to know that uh, uh, roots are real or uh, imaginary. I will calculate b square minus 4ac, b square is 4 minus 4ac, uh, you are understanding, b, the, see this is a, b, c, b square minus 4ac, what you are getting less than 0, right, clearly 4 minus 4 threes are 12, right. This is less than 0. B square minus 4 is less than 0 means no real x. No real x. There is no real x as that. Such that h dash of x equal to 0. Such that 3x square plus 2x plus 1 equal to 0. In this case, what we say? No critical point. If there is no critical point, what we say? We say that therefore, therefore, h of x does not have any 
maxima or minima values does not have any maxima or minima values i hope you understand if you like this video please drop a like and share it with your friends in case if you are not yet subscribed to my channel subscribe now thanks for watching take care bye bye